this video reading is uh, what does your person secretly wish to tell you so what do they secretly wish for you to know what do they want to tell you that maybe they aren't or won't yeah so let's get into that so you have three decks to choose from but before i get into which deck is which i'd like to thank all of you who are subs to this channel thus far thank you so much i so very much appreciate you if you're brand brand new Hit the sub button as well as the bell notification. I drop videos weekly. Also, become a patron. I do a plethora of extra readings on my Patreon. And if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, you can check the pin comment below as well as the description box below for all of that. And I do exclusive giveaways for my patrons. So all you got to do is be a patron and you automatically qualify for a monthly giveaway that I do. All right. So three decks to choose from or three cards for you to choose from this is going to be deck number one card number one deck number two card number two deck number three card number three pause this video see which of these decks or cards you feel resonate with you the most keep in mind these are general messages they want to resonate with everyone that's perfectly fine take what resonates leave behind what doesn't and let's get into it with our very first deck and option deck number one all right so deck number one what does this person secretly want to tell you so first energy we have is the social justice warrior or the justice card that came out in the upright so you may be dealing with someone who is a libra that's what i'm getting with that one uh mostly getting, you might be dealing with someone who um i'm getting something about bisexuality with this Libra card. I'm seeing two, two, two energies. So I feel like that's coming out too for your person. Maybe that's something that they're going to reveal because it feels like something in regards to uh, balancing out the energies, definitely with this Libra energy, uh, revealing a secret. And that would be pretty much how they usher in balancing out the energy between the two of you. Hmm. For some of you, this person might reveal another person involved. That's what I'm getting that let's see what do they secretly want to tell you universe thank you for the channel messages for those who chose option number one what does that person want to reveal to them what do they secretly wish they could reveal to them option number one what does that person secretly wish to reveal to them option number one what does that person secretly wish to reveal to them option number one what does that person secretly wish Reveal to them. Option number one would be two more cards. What is the person secretly wish to reveal to them? Option number one. What is that person secretly wish to reveal to them? All right. Energy at the bottom of the deck. We have the hangman and reverse. So definitely, this is somebody who wants to get somewhere with you in this connection. But let's see. So I'm going to pull some romance oracles, but I'll get to that later. We got the Magician card that came out in the reverse. We got the Knight of Cups that came out in the reverse. This is definitely someone who wants to hold on to you. But maybe this person doesn't want to manifest this relationship as seriously or as badly as you may want to. We got the Three of Cups that came out in the upright. So this is somebody who's still dealing with someone else, dealing with other energies, um, or quite possibly dating around. I feel like this person still wants to play the field. That's what I feel like what they secretly want to tell you. Like, I feel like you you and this person are definitely dating or definitely involved. And I feel like um, that they want to reveal to you that you're not the only energy there, the only prospect there. That's what that is. We have the Queen of Cups that came out in the reverse. Yeah, they're definitely not... This isn't the only situation that they're nurturing. Now, I do get the energy that this person likes you, but I'm not getting the energy that this person is strongly devoted to just you. Or I feel like this person definitely sees you as an option, but I don't know how far outward this person sees the relationship between you and them going. It's kind of like a go with the flow, see where it goes. Almost like this person is waiting for the other chairs to stop spinning. And then if you're still around... Because what else is coming through with this person is I feel like there's a strong urge to be single, wanting to be single. That's what's coming out with this too. So let's see. We have the seven of pentacles that came out in the upright. Definitely. I feel like you're in waiting. 
they are invested <clears throat> in this connection with you. You are an option and whereas they don't want to, you know, let you go, but there there's other energies in waiting, if that makes sense. And then we have the eight of swords that came out in the reverse. So this is somebody who's they definitely feel unrestricted with you. They do like the connection, but it feels like there's other energies there. It feels like there's movement between the two of you, but it just feels like this person is still trying to figure it out, you know. So let's see, universe, thank you for the channel messages. What is technically this person secretly want to tell them? How do they feel? What's technically this person secretly want to tell them? Two more cards. Technically this person secretly want to tell them how they feel. Let's take them on this person secretly want to tell them how they feel. We have reconciliation. So you could be asking about someone who's from the past or maybe if this person currently you know the two of you are in communication you know there's reconciliation that is right on the tails we have past life relationship oh okay so you could you could definitely be talking about somebody from the past or this other energy that i'm picking up or one of the other energies that i'm picking up could be something in regards to you're dealing with somebody from the past that they haven't let go yet we have forgiving and learning so yeah definitely wanted to create some balance in this relationship definitely wanted to be your friend wanted to hold on to you but not sure or not ready for whatever it is that they you know to give you anything you know there's the air of wanting to give you something but not knowing not they know what they would want to give you but not being ready to give that thing express your love and honeymoon so what i'm here with this pile too um deck number one is more so this person is interested in cultivating more so the physical between the two of you, you know, just really spending time, you know, in your presence around you, but also sexually as well, not being sure. I feel like this person has an um, issue with vulnerability and maybe opening it up, opening it and opening up and things of that nature. So a bit tricky. This person um, definitely wants to hold on to you, but let's see. Uh, what's the outcome for tech number one? Should they hold on to this connection or let it go? Should they hold on to this connection or let it go? Should they hold on to this connection or let it go? Outcome tech number one. Outcome tech number one. Outcome tech number one. All right, we got the ten of wands. Ooh, this may be a bit, you know, more challenging than, than necessary. So we got the three of, wow, three of cups came out, or three of wands, rather, came out in the upright. We have the devil card, Capricorn, came out in the upright. You might be done with a Capricorn. We have the six of swords. So this is interesting. This is about waiting for something to come towards you. This is about being attached. This is about moving forward. So this is actually some mixed energy. It could be up to you um, based on, you know, do you feel like you want to be this person's, you know, option or be there while they're trying to figure things out. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let's get a little bit more energy. What should pop deck number one do with this situation? Outcome. Nine of swords came out. And then we got the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this might be something that you benefit from stepping away from because I'm seeing that, yeah, the two of you, there's the attachment, there's the codependency, there's the sexual aspect, you know, but there's more waiting in this connection, waiting for this person to, to, to come towards you, waiting for this person to see you as an option, um, not see you as an option, but see you as the one, waiting for this person to be ready. And maybe waiting and seeing this person deal with other people over you. And it's causing you distress. So I definitely feel like maybe you'd benefit in stepping away from this connection at present. But yeah, what they secretly want to tell you is probably that they're not ready yet. That there's other people there that, you know, they want to hold on to you, but they don't know what to do with you. That's what I'm getting with that. All right, tech number one. <coughs> Excuse me. You all let me know in the comment section below. Uh, how did this resonate? Did it resonate? How you feel about this reading? Uh, book a private reading, coaching, coaching or consultation session with me, as well as uh, become a Patreon. 
and will become a patron on my Patreon and see what this month's giveaway for Patreon is in the pin comment below as well as the description box below. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you care to. And let's move forward to our second deck, deck number two. Let's see. So deck number two, you got the hanged man or the side hustler. I feel like the person that you're asking about is very busy, very preoccupied with other things, work, their life, and this is causing a pause in the connection. That's what I get with that side hustle. I feel like this person wants to tell you not that they're too busy or maybe that they're too busy, you know, for love to cultivate. But this person also wants you in their energy still. Like they may be busy, but they want to make room for you. So let's see. Universe, thank you for the channel messages. For those who chose deck number two. What is the person seeking you to tell them? Deck number two. What is the person seeking you to tell them? Deck number two. What is the person seeking you want to tell them? Deck number two. What is the person seeking you want to tell them? Do I want to keep going? No. So we got the two of wands that came out in the reverse. Yeah, definitely this person's life is just really busy. It's like they don't really have farsight in regards to relationships because there's other obligations more so in regards to career and finances or just career in general that gets in the way their hustle. They have goals in mind. They know what they want to do. They know where they want to go. And it's like they don't want anything to get in, way, in the way of that. I also get the, um, I'm also getting the energy that this person is kind of surprised in regards to how they took to you, how they feel about you. And so it's kind of like, you know, not that you're getting in the way of their plans, but you're kind of, you know, disrupting those just a little bit because they were tunnel vision. They were focused. This was, you know, kind of a stalled connection or there's stalls in this connection because this person's work life and things of that nature means so much to them. So we have the Hermit card that came out in the reverse. It could be dealing with a Virgo. We have the Three of Cups that came out in the upright. Yeah, this person is definitely preoccupied elsewhere, but mostly with work. We have the Ace of Swords that came out in the upright. We have the High Priestess that came out in the reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups. So this is definitely somebody who wants to start something with you. Give you a cup of love, you know. They don't want to walk away. We have the Ace of Swords. It's somebody that I feel like two of you have really good conversations with one another. This is good conversation for sure. Or someone who enjoys talking to you. They feel like you're very intellectual. They have very intellectual conversations with you. And this is someone who you, you awaken the self-love within them. You awaken, you know, like they see you as a loving individual, but they you also awaken this within themselves. So I feel like this is a lot of healing in this connection. This person wants to, wants to be romantic with you, want to start something with you, but then there's a disconnect between the two of you because this person is very, very busy. And with this hermit card, uh, I feel like this person has been on a healing journey, is on a healing journey, but at the same time, there's still distractions there with this hermit card. Like, like with the hermit card in reverse, I feel like this person is, is around a lot of different energies. Not romance, though. It's definitely not romance blocking you two. It's not really work blocking you two, but work definitely comes first for this person. And I feel like they want you to understand that. That's what they would secretly want you to know, you know, or tell you that their work is a priority for them. And that's what the this relationship would have to work around. I'm not getting that that would be an issue for you, but this relationship will have to work around their, you know, their work will come first. And they want you to understand that, but that they're not neglecting you, but that, you know, there's just things that they have to get done. This may be somebody who might even cancel on a, in the last minute because of work obligations. But I'm not seeing there's another love energy there that's getting in the way. So 
Universe, thank you for the channel messages for those who chose deck number two. What is this person seeking to tell them? How do they feel? What is this person seeking to tell deck number two? <coughs> How do they feel? I need to drink some tea after this, you all. What is this person seeking to tell them? How do they feel? Let me know more. This person seeking to tell deck number two. How do they feel? Something about this person's energy feels like they chase after the wrong people. Like, it could have been, you know, a back and forth between the two of you. Some history between the two of you. They think very highly of you, but I feel like they chase after the wrong people. Almost like they're scared of this connection, too. That's what's coming through with that. Like, they feel like you're above them, though they may pretend otherwise. They may pretend, like, you know, be real, uh, what do you call it, secure and brave and confident. But that's what attracts them to you. That's what I feel like, too. Like, you know, they're, fr they're afraid of this relationship failing. I feel like they chase after other energies and maybe you've seen that you know you've seen this person with another you know girlfriend or another boyfriend and then you know it's like well i'm this person i'm amazing why give this over here to them those are easier connections those are connections they know won't stick so interestingly so hmm. we have attraction that came out at the bottom of the deck so this person is definitely attracted to you they definitely like you I feel like some patience is going to be needed with this connection if you choose to entertain it we have you deserve love yeah they think highly of you but they something about that you deserve love as well feels like they feel like you know you could do better than them or you you're better than them or you know in a sense like that but they're still curious about you we have look at that deception they're trying to show you something it's like this person's trying to hide their insecurities from you they're not trying to get you to see through them. So this person tries to remain a mystery because they feel like you can see through, you will see through them. And for those of you who chose this particular pile or deck, I feel like you do see through them already. But you know, that doesn't matter to you because you love them. We have separation. Yeah, relationships is definitely well, bonding with you is hard for this person. I feel like you're the strong energy, the secure energy. You know, I feel like this person may maybe you know apt to play games at times but those games don't work on you because you know you have a very strong you know what is the word that i'm looking for self-esteem yeah you have passion you know this person is really really into you but they themselves are in the way we have love yourself first We have wedding. Yeah, this person wants a commitment with you. We have engagement. And this person, now you could be engaged to this person, could have been married to this person at one point in time. This person sees serious commitment with you. They could possibly see themselves marrying you. This person has to get out of their own way. That's what I'm saying with this. I feel like this person secretly wants you to know that they're scared. They're scared. They don't want to be hurt. So they're putting up this front with this deception of putting up this front, put on this mask like they're, you know, strong, like, you know, like, yeah, you know, Mr. Cool or Miss Cool or whatnot. But they're really scared about, you know, getting hurt by you. But I'm getting like, you know, you won't hurt. It's going to take a lot of patience with this. Not so much patience that it's like, you know, ugh. but this is one of those slower moving connections. Like you're still connected. You're connected now, but it's a slower moving connection. They definitely can see longevity with you, family with you. They want to be, you know, that knight in shining armor that you envision them as. Or they envision, you know, being toward to you. That's what I'm getting with that one. So they want to tell you that they're scared. They want to tell you that, you know, work, survival, hustle is all they know. It's what comes first. Not that you're not a priority because I feel like as this connection grows, you become a priority. You know, and it's you and work for them. But it's like this person holds on to, to, to career, to work, because it's easier. You know, it's a sure thing. And even with those other connections, it's like, those. that's a sure thing. I can let that person go because I'm in control. But you have this person's heart, you know, in a way where it's like, no, that mess up. I might stop believing in love. But, yeah, overall, I feel like. They definitely need to give this a chance. I feel like they will. They definitely will. It's gonna, you know, give it some time. 
but it's 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 not over for you too if, if any of you were kind of scared about that but yeah i'm hearing that this person wants you to know that they hurt yeah this person cares about you but yeah they gotta get out of there they own you know you gotta open up that's what that is all right option number two tech number two you all let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below if you'd like to book a private reading coaching or consultation session with me or become a patron of mine check out the pinned comment below as well as the description box below check out the pinned comment below for this month's giveaway um for patreon and give this video a like comment share subscribe if you care to and let's move on to our very last deck deck number three card number three all right, option number three, you have the bro grammar, the magician. Okay, my energy verse. This person could be a bit manipulative. That's what I'm getting with that. I just heard this person doesn't know what they're doing. That's what I hear with that. I feel like this person secretly wants to tell you, maybe not. No, they want you to know they don't know what they're doing. With this connection, with life, they're confused. There's someone who's very confused. They want you to know, like they don't know if they're coming or going. If it's up or down, that's what I feel like with that. So, universe, thank you for the channel messages. For those who chose deck number three, what is that person secretly want to tell them? What is deck number three's person secretly want to tell them? What is deck number three's person secretly want to tell them? What is deck number three's person secretly want to tell them? What is deck number three's person secretly want to tell them? What is deck number three? This person secretly want to tell them. Boom. I kind of feel to pull this one, to be honest. Okay. So we got the Joker that came out in the reverse. Mm. Could be someone from your past who doesn't want to start over again. That's what I'm getting with that. So let's see. We got the <clears throat> Nine of Cups that came out in the upright. We got the Seven of Wands. Or I'm sorry, Seven of Pentacles that came out in the upright. Ten of Pentacles that came out in the upright. Oh, wow. Okay. So I take back. Not that somebody doesn't want to start something over again. Definitely more so. This is somebody from the past. Some of you could be somebody new, but somebody from the past, this person really wants you. Nine of Cups in the Upright, Seven of Pentacles, they're really invested in a connection with you. We have the Ten of Pentacles, they can see the future with you. This is somebody who's trying to prepare to be good enough for you. You know, I'm getting a lot of insecurities with these decks. You know, this person's trying to prepare to be good enough for you. I feel like this person wants you to wait wait on them some of you are like looking at this like oh no nah. <laughs> but i feel like this person wants you to wait they have plans for you we have the king of cups that came out in the reverse we have the justice card that came out in the reverse we have the hermit card you might be dealing with a virgo that came out in the upright or another earth sign we have the or you might be dealing with libra as well we have the knight of cups that came out in the upright and then we have the three of pentacles that came out in the upright this person wants a relationship with you that's what they secretly want to tell you you might have a, um, a romantic relationship i want to say you might have a friendship with this person this person may not know how to connect with you they see longevity you are this person's wish this person's invested in you they do not plan on letting you go it's hard for them to be vulnerable and open up this person's very nervous and anxious around you with this justice card in reverse um, the two of you could have karmic energy. Definitely. For, now, this is a split. For some of you, this is somebody from your past. For others of you, um, you could be asking about somebody that you just met, just freshly dating. And it's like, you know, what's the tea on this? What's going to happen? What's going to occur? How do they feel? I feel like this person might be holding back from you, but they secretly want to tell you that they really want this. Like, really, really want this. So let's see. Let's get some more information on this. What does this person secretly want to tell deck number three? How do they feel? What does this person secretly want to tell deck number three? How do they feel? What does this person secretly want to tell? How do they feel? One more. What does this person secretly want to tell? Deck number 
were doing and how did they feel? Retreat. This person wants to get away with you or get away towards you. That's what I'm getting with that one. So we have, it is safe for you to love. Okay, there's some fear on this person's end, but I feel like they're taking it slow with you. But yeah, they want you to know they don't know. They don't have any idea what they're doing. They're taking this one day, one moment at a time. We have free yourself. This person could be definitely um, connected to somewhere else, someone else. But they're still curious about you. They want to see what happens with you. We have engagement. Then we have soulmate. But this person sees a long situation with you. That's what they desire, but they want you to know. They don't know what to do with this. How should they deal with this? I feel like this person's energy feels not off and on, but kind of paused, unpaused, paused, unpaused. That's what I'm getting with that. So let's see, universe, thank you for the kind of messages. What is the outcome of this situation? Likely outcome for... Deck number two, let's see. Like the outcome, somebody could be an Aries in this situation. Like the outcome for those who chose uh, that fail. Uh, the card failed, but I saw which way it's coming up. So let me get. You got the page of pentacles that came out in the upright. Now this person could be younger than you also, especially with the, the Aries card with it being the youngest of the zodiac, so younger person. They're going to offer you something, but this is like brand new. They don't, you know, like brand new in regards to them learning for the first time. You know, I'm here to teach me how to love uh, by Music Soul Child. So go look that one up. But this is this person learning. Teach me how to love. Learning how to do this for the first time. Learning how to be accountable. Learning how to, you know, do what they said they were going to do. You know, show up if they said they would show up. Call if they said they would call up. Give you the explanation as to why, you know. Try to respect your time and your, your energy. Universe will be the outcome of this situation for deck number three. What's the outcome of this situation? Deck number three is so worth holding on to. Okay. I'm hearing don't go. Look at the hangman in reverse. I'm hearing this person's energy say don't go. They don't want, they don't want to let go of you. We have the six of pentacles that came out in the upright. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune that came out in the reverse. So definitely this is a learning situation. This is karmic. The two of you have been in and out. This isn't a situation that's over by far. No, 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 no. This person is going to be given to you, whether it is monetarily or, you know, emotionally. But this person plans to hold on to you. They're trying to figure it out. They want to do right by you. They're trying to figure it out. There will be bumps. There will be mistakes. You got to give it time. But... It will develop. That's what I'm getting with that. All right, all right, all right. So deck number three, you all let me know how you felt about this in the comment section below. How did this reading resonate? Did this reading resonate for you? Book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me. Or join me on Patreon where I have a plethora of other readings that don't make it to YouTube for quite some time. Um, and you qualify for a monthly giveaway just by being a patron of mine. So definitely Check out the pen comment below as well as the description box below for that information. And check the pen comment below as well as the description box below for the January 2021 giveaway for Patreon. All right, good people. I thank you so much for tuning in and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Until next time, peace and blessings. Goodbye.